Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Demon with Quad V bringing you League of Legends action once again. It is CLG versus Whale. This is match two of the uh, NESL week three. CLG versus Whale. CLG has the blue team this time playing as Alistair, Twisted Fate, Malzahar, Chogath, and Nocturne. That will be Chowster, Big Fat GG, Hotshot GG, Elements, and Kobe. For the purple team, it will be a Mumu, Ezreal, Gragas, Soraka, and Jarvan. That will be Jat, Atlanta, Nico Sharp, Poseidon, which I'm still not convinced about, and Awoa. So Awoa stepping in for Guardsman Bob. As you can see, the uh, the extras here as well. So, looks like Nocturne this time is going to be the jungler for CLG instead of a Mumu, which obviously was picked by Whale. It was their first pick as well, it looks like, I'm guessing. I don't know, actually. It may just be the order they joined the game. But uh, Mumu is going to be jungling for Whale. So, CLG took the first game. If uh, you are watching it out of order, then sorry, I've just spoiled it for you. But nevertheless, <coughs> so Awoa stepping in. And so, like I say, as Jarvan. Jarvan's one of those newer yeah. tanks. I think he's awesome himself. We've I've been playing him. My friend has been playing him of late, and uh, and we're pretty convinced that he is of the awesomeness. And uh, I was not surprised to see Elements has actually stuck him in his tier one list. Uh, tier 1 in, in his tier list that he likes to put out there. He's uh, put him in Tier 1. Now, CLG just saw two summoners going into this bush. So surely, if Elements has took Rupture, Elements playing Chogath this time. He's just to switch into... Thing. He will catch something. It will be a movement. It's going to go down surely. That's going to be a kill. I guess almost a guaranteed kill. Captain is Rupture there. Alistair as well. Alistair's going to... Uh, uh, Nocturne, sorry, having to flash out there. Ignited. I think he may well just get away. With beautiful Rupture time there. And that may well actually buy the time. Elements is going to have to back away. Twisted Fate is uh, Big Fat GG. Hotshot GG also very low. They're going to catch Soraka. Another rupture on Soraka there. So great stun control here. Managing to catch him with Alistair there. Alistair's going to be in trouble. He's going to back away. He's going to get ignited and back away. Hotshot GG is going to walk straight into that barrel. Oh, flash straight into, into the path of uh, Ezreal. Ezreal may well go down here. Will Hot? No, oh, he will. He's got him just before he died. Big Fat GG's sacrificing himself for another kill. So two for one for uh, Elements there. Uh, so for, sorry for Twisted Fate, uh, played by Big Fat GG. We are viewing this from Big Fat GG's point of view. Has he got first blood? I think he did, which is going to buy him... Yes, he will. He's got 440 gold, so he's going to get himself a dagger as well. So boots of speed and dagger. So, I th yeah, it looks like uh, hot, uh, Twisted Fate's going to be mid against Gragas. Malzahar is top. Who's he going to be against? Ezreal, I guess. Uh, which leaves Chogath and Alistair bottom versus Soraka and Jarvan. So, uh, well... Kobe's uh, return to jungle, I think at low hit points, is uh, as of that fight. He was left with literally nothing, wasn't he? I think that's why he's so low on the hit points. It wasn't just a case of the, uh, he's being noob jungler and the uh, golems, uh, the, the ele ele golems, yeah, they're golems, uh, took him down, say, that low. So, yeah, we're going to find, I'll tell you what, I Twisted Fates might struggle against, struggle a little bit against Gragas here, but who am I to say? It is uh, Big Fat GG, one of the this carrier is certainly in the game at the moment. I'll tell you what, Malzahar's got himself all bent out of shape. It is Hotshot playing Malzahar this game. And uh, it's going to be well oh, that Q did hit. And he's going to back away. So the uh, the early game push that Ezreal had, I remember the I remember when he came out, he was invincible. He was godlike with those early attack damage uh, abilities that he gets. And Q is going to do so much damage and he's pushing onto Hotshot. Hotshot's going to port away. I think his the hit points were quite a bit lower than that. We may well see it blip on update in a moment. Uh, so he's going to have to port back. So Ezreal getting the early early push and going to get a bit of free farm as well. Meanwhile, down the bottom here. Oh, just missed Zaraka going down just outside the bush there. I just caught a glimpse of it in the corner of my eye. Jarvan couldn't do a fat lot about that early level. They only hit just level two. And uh, as we saw in that team fight early on, they've got a lot of stun. And it's done. Land a good rupture and elements. Uh, sorry, it's Chowster playing uh, Alistair this time. They've got the uh, the rook chat as well as the pulverizer. So they've got a lot of bouncing abilities, as it were. A lot of stun locking, a lot of crowd control. And that was Soraka going down. Soraka is very squishy early on. Doesn't get those big heals just yet. So four kills to two. Slight advantage to uh, CLG. Mainly coming from that early uh, fight. As Clairvoyance goes down. Seeing a Mumu. What are they going to go for him? Soraka is there in support. As... Uh, Elements goes looking, sees him there. 
think he's just learned the rupture. He will do. Rupture uses a lot of mana up early levels. So you can't really spam it. <coughs> I think he's just... Yeah, Jarvan's cut him off. So I think he's just decided, hey, they're going to get blue. There's not a lot I can do about it. Nocturne is uh, going to pick up the Golem buff as well. Um, needs to be a little wary. Well, we did put the ward down. So I, was, uh, I think it was Alistair actually just came out and put the ward down there. So covering that uh, exit and as well as the dragon, getting good vision on it. So uh, that's going to buy him. It's going to buy elements basically free farm down the bottom here as long as he can get near the mob. And while we're seeing a level up from Big Fat GG as he tried to pursue onto Gragas. Keep my eye on that one because that's going to when that kicks off it's going to go fast I think. Because uh, low hit points. Alistair at the top here. He's gonna. He, he's gonna. He's not gonna be able to catch on Ezra, surely. He's gonna have a go. Chester's gonna go in there. Chester was unstoppable with Corky last game. Bides his time. All well down the bottom here. Looks like Big Fat GG is gonna have a go at uh, uh, Gragas. Gragas actually uses flash there. Meanwhile at the top there. Oh, he's gonna manage to land the pulverize, but uh, he just dashed through it. And uh, that saved his bacon down the bottom here. Chogas being pushed as well. Jarvan's got it all over him. So. Elements being pushed back, and he will be. He will be in the early levels until he gets, starts getting to uh, a bit of feast farm. He's obviously still the same level as uh, Jarvan at the moment, so he hasn't got that level of advantage. Elements, uh, Chelsea, sorry, with Alistair was in lane for a uh, period, so he didn't get that early level in uh, advantage. He's not managed to shoot ahead in levels. So Gragas missing at the moment. And Mumu's going to take a peek down bottom. Hot shots there, but I don't think there's any, anything going to come of it. He needs to be wary, keep an eye on him. Because uh, Big Fat GG is very susceptible to a uh, an Amumu tongue lashing, as it were, from that bandage toss. I always like to see the, say it's the tongue that's coming out, but uh, we all know it's just a little bandage he throws out. A uh, Q ability from uh, Jarvan. Yeah, Jarvan. Jarvan could be one of those newer heroes. He can do quite a lot. I think he's been put in a tier one as well by uh, like elements, like I was saying. He can build, build attack damage or tanky. Uh, works either way. I think he can jungle as well. Uh, I've not tried it myself jungling, but uh, he's certainly perfectly fine in the lane phase. Nico Sharp is uh, his return. He's got himself a Dawn's Ring and Boots now. So uh, pretty much even stuff. Jarvan being pushed out. Soraka missing at the moment, as well as uh, Ezreal up top and Amumu missing as well. Shot GG's taking a fair bit of damage from these minions. Meanwhile in the middle there. Oh, it's going to be a kill surely. Yes, it will be. Gragas taking down Hot shot, uh, big fat GG. Sorry, I didn't see the opening part. I just caught the ending. There's that barrel rolled through with the ignite. So must have caught him with a slow. The uh, flash was already used. Must have, must have caught. Oh, I know what he did. He bounced him with the barrel. I've seen the replay before. I know what he did. I remember what he did. Oh, and he might get well get to kill on Gragas. He's going to be dash away. He caught him with the ulti. Let's go back to it. He caught him with the ulti just here, which bounced him over there which uh, obviously ignited him, managed to get the slow on him, flash through, still slow, barrel comes in, very much that will be a kill. So, Dragos getting himself a kill, he's careful dashing in on, uh, on a full hit point uh, Nocturne there. Nocturne's not to be trifled with at this level, so he's confident. Soraka down the bottom, he's uh, back in there, so Elements is going to port away on Chogath. There's real he's got himself a triple Doran's Blade along with uh, the boots now. Hot shots got himself a heart of golden boots along with that uh, mana crystal. Big fat GG, as you can see in the bottom corner, he's got an attack speed too. He's uh, got himself a recurve bow to go with that uh, dagger that he got earlier and the boots of speed. Uh, Kobe continues to farm quite happily and uh, nobody even attempted to anti anti jungle on uh, Kobe really. He's gone near him. We've got good ward placement, so actually the one in the ward's gone there. So Hotshot's returned to uh, push that lane quite heavily. 4-3, the kills. The score, as it were, for CLG. If you can call it a score. Kills don't mean prizes, let's put it that way. Towers are what counts. And nobody's got one of those just yet. Rupture lands. Yes, it does. And uh, immediately silence Soraka there. Hotshot's pushing, managing to get that dot onto uh, Ezreal at the top there. We're going to naughty in the middle here, and it is going to be saved, trying to save Big Fat GG. Big Fat GG got bandage tossed onto there, so uh, the movement for coming out, managing to uh, look like he used his ulti as well. I think I just caught a glimpse of it there. So again, Big Fat GG's been taken down in here by Gragas, and a movement combo this time. He's going to come around, going to get a good poke on him. He needs to be wary. I don't know whether he just used his ulti or not. If he hasn't, then... Uh, 
he needs to be careful. Nico Sharp's going to take a poke. Brings that barrel out. On the bottom. Oh, I've just been pulled back. But Soraka looked like he was in a position to get caught by the rope. Just didn't happen. So 4-4. Four, four, all even in kills now. So that opening benefit, as it were. As uh, Gragas continues to farm mid. Picking up the kills. The question is, was it a movie that got the kill? It was. They could have done with it being Gragas that got the kill. It's not so great. Bottom lane farm is... Uh, on full here. They're not going to be able to do anything against uh, those two. Oh, Twisted Fate's going to port up top, and I think he's going to land the stun card. Oh, he gets cleansed straight off by Ezreal there. So, uh, <laughs> cleanse now used. So, someone has spelled wasted. 120 seconds on that uh, port again. On that ulti for TF. And Gragas, meanwhile, has got free farm on this tower. He's going to know that Mazel has come down. Ezreal's going to have told him. So, he's going to do as much damage to it as possible. And then back out. We didn't see it going down, but it uh, it was being hit. We know it was. There we go. Down to 1,200. So he managed to take a good chunk out of that, Gragas did. So, and it's the port away. Yes, he does. As uh, TF auto ports it back. TF getting himself completing the Sword of the Divine now. Meanwhile, Mazahar has taken over mid. He's putting the port back in a minute. Yep, he will. He was just stopping that stack. Nocturne. Has uh, got himself the blue. He's got himself Riggles already, so we're going to see the Riggle Ward going out. He's actually got a normal Sight Ward, which I guess he's going to place in this bush, as he will. And there uh, it will be the Sight Ward going down. Yes. Well, Elements ports away again. So, have a little bit of free farm down the bottom, if you will. Gragas pushing on to... On to mid. Is he going to continue it on? He needs to be careful. Nocturne is just there. Nocturne's putting out some wards here. Oh, we're going to see it. I think it's just surely taking a good look, really, more than... Uh, yeah, I can't imagine they're going to go for an early bound. It's 11 minutes in, it's possible. They need to be uh, around about level 12, probably. 11, 12, if the full team's there, but surely not in this high-level game. We are in the NASL. National ASL, that stands for. It is the Premier League, week three. Match two. CLG, Caps Logic Gaming, and this is the great way. The battles continue in the lane, really. It's uh, so far. I would say from lane phase, you got to say that Whale have, have picked up a, a slight advantage. They've uh, managed to take down Twisted Fate twice in the head. Oh, Gragas is going to take a pop here. Oh, we need to be careful because, well, as you can see, the ulti came out, and that's just unfortunate because Nocturne happened to be in that bush. I think he might well get a kill here. Oh, Ed, tell him that Twisted Fate's going to pause in. Who's going to get a kill? It will be. Kobe going in on Nocturne. That's unfortunate. He went for Malzahar there, maybe a little recklessly, but Nocturne just happened to be on the Wraith here, And that's just, just unfortunate. As we said, this may well be the first tower going down now because they've got a lot of damage to uh, put out to that tower. They've got a full stack in mid. That's, uh, so Alistair came up to support. And that's going to be the first tower down to CLG. Five forward kills. And Rupert's going to come in there. He's going to pop the ulti all too late because the tower has already gone down. That's what he could have done. He's going in a little bit earlier. Jarvan's going to get his ulti down, but I think that might well be Jarvan. Uh, Mumu going down. Actually kill the Mumu, if anything. Jarvan's going to continue to try to poke onto Twisty Fate. He's going to have to back out. He's low on hit points. And uh, Ezreal also. So Nocturne backs out. Cho'Gath had come up to see if he could uh, get himself a bite. He wants to try and take a feast on someone here. If Nocturne stays around, he's Nocturne's backed away. He's been pulled back by... Him. Oh, he's going to silence onto, onto Jarvan. Oh, I tell you what, if Nocturne would have stayed, he could have got some kills there instead. Chogath's in trouble now. Alistair's going to come down, and uh, Gragas has got the respawn in there. And just about saving Elements' life. Elements must be raging on the uh, comms there, because Nocturne, if he'd stayed, that would have been a definite kill. May well, may well have been the death of them. But they're going to go for Dragon here. So Whale are going to try and take advantage and get the Whale. Uh, get themselves the dragon, but Cho'Gath is aware of it. He's coming down. Looks like the rest of CLG now coming down. They're going to. They've got the ward there, of course, so they can see it happening. And Mumu just used his ulti, remember? So he hasn't got the ulti to uh, protect them. Alistair is pretty low on health here. Six four. This could certainly decide it. Oh, Big Fat GG stole the dragon now as well with stun gun. Managed to get it. Ezreal's going to go down. Jarvan's in trouble now, and Amumu also in trouble. They're going to continue to chase Jarvan with all the damage comes out. Big Fat GG takes down Alistair, and that's going to be surely a kill. No, he's going to get away. Oh no, he's not because Nocturne dives in. Nocturne doesn't get the kill though because Soraka just about came and survived and hel helped him. Meanwhile, Hotshot is pushing the top turret. The top turret's going to go down. Eight four. 
So that dragon kill, and I don't, I don't know what, what you think of it, whether it leaves some comments, but I, I'm not too sure whether they should have gone for that dragon. They, they tried to take advantage of it. CLG, you think it's CLG, probably all caught it back out of that fight, but they didn't. They stuck around. They had that ward, which really basically got one them two kills and a dragon. So dragon kill and two kills along with it. So it's a, a big heap of gold. And I think Big Fat GG got all of them, actually. Um, let's have a look. Yes, he did. So Big Fat GG picked up all the kills there. So he's 5 3 one now, 2 3 one in lane phase. So he's picked himself up a uh, Avris Blade as well, as well as a Brutalizer completed now. And uh, Malzahar's ported back. Nocturne, remember, a, he got a kill in there as well. Yes, he did. He got um, Gragas down, didn't he? Malzahar has uh, got himself a needlessly large rod now, along with that Catalyst. Uh, and the Heart of Gold. Jarvan, we've seen at low health, but I think he's at full. Just wait for that to uh, blip up, I've no doubt. We're, uh, but I'm pretty sure he's, he's going to be full health. I can't imagine he's staying at three that low. Uh, let's see. Are you going to look Twisted Fate? We're, just, we're really waiting for Twisted Fate to look. There we go. Blick, full health. That's the, that's the, the sort of errors. I mean, people say, you know, may, may well say about commentary, sometimes it's, it's quite hard because, you, you know, you can see where they're engaging, but you can't see hit points sometimes. So we're going to push on the tower here. So they're trying to gank Malzahar up top. So Hotshot's going to uh, back away, but Hotshot's playing Malzahar in this game. Whale. Not in for fun. Team. Twisted Fate's going to port in. Boomer pops his ulti, but I think it's going to save him. Suppressed now by uh, Hotshot, and it was actually Big Fat GG that picked another kill. So he's now 6 3 1. And Ezreal couldn't really do a fat lot about it. If Gragas was there, that could have been two kills for Whale, but Nocturne was also heading up there. Him off. Oh, Soraka's surely going to go down here. No, he's not. Popped his, I think his ulti maybe popped off with a single heal. I didn't see which one it was. I can't really see the opposition. So Alice is going to have to back away. Soraka's so low. What are you doing coming out, Soraka? Oh, my life. What was she thinking? Why, why would you do that? You knew Alistair was in the bush. You got rupture, pulverized, silence, the, the, the big kick. What, what was Soraka possibly thinking? I don't know. I don't know. Nocturne's going to pick up a blue buff here. Looks like he's going to take a golem. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm baffled by Soraka's play there. 10-4 now. And CLG in danger of snowballing on Whale here. Well, well this tower's surely going to go down. Gragas, you can see there. But this tower is uh, starting to get precariously low. Gragas is trying to push. This tower in the mid It's only got 148 hit points. So they're going to surely try and push it and take a little way of some of that vision for CLG. They've gone missing at the moment, which is why I think Malzahar is backing away a little bit. He's, uh, is he going to pull it away? Don't too know where they are. Ezreal's gone up top. Greg is still missing. At the bottom. It's, they're continuing to just, just pick away at it, this top tower. Bottom tower, sorry. Malzahar has found a Moomoo. Well, he got Twisted Fate. Has got his ulti in 8 seconds, so we could see Twisted Fate using Destiny to get up there in a moment. Let's see what is going to happen. Gonna go for it. Yes, they are. Twisted Fate's gonna come in. Oh, he's gonna flash away. They couldn't get the stun in time. And that's destiny wasted. I know Mazahar didn't have ulti up, so he couldn't ult either. So there was not a lot they could do about that. It was uh, a wasted ulti for Twisted Fate. So, wait, it was a wasted. How are they doing? <coughs> Dragos is gonna push onto. Uh, Hotshot here, he's managed to get land him with the uh, ultimate barrel there. Bouncing backwards. Will Ezreal managed to land off the kill? He's got a flash towards him. Oh my god. Oh dear, oh dear. Nocturne comes leaping out of the side. Well, he would have been dead anyway. He may well die this time. Gragas is going to be careful. He's gonna, Nocturne's going to stick onto Ezreal. Twisty Face managed to get the stun card. And that's going to be Ezreal going down. Surely, will they manage to get onto Gragas? No, they will not. And a Nocturne got himself a kill. Meanwhile, down the bottom here. Now you just see another one. Dino Sarak is missing at the moment. They're going to go on to uh, Jarvan. Jarvan's going to be low hit points there. Surely we've seen him at full health. And I tell you what, he may well be very low. They're going to take the tower instead. Jarvan's come leaping in once again. And the Rupture's going to go down. It will land on him. He's going to be in trouble here. The silence goes down. Is he going to get the Ignite? Will he manage to get the Feast? He does. Gets the Ignite down. I think he's going to die. Yes, he will. And Elements gets the kill on Jarvan. And wow. Tower and a hero. 12-4.
And now they are really snowballing. Still only 128 hit points on this mid tower, so I think we're going to see the first tower for Whale going down. This minion stack surely going to take it down. No, it won't because Twisted Fate's just about survived. <laughs> going to come down, puts the attack damage card down, take it to 63 hit points. As uh, we see Ezreal and Dragas come out the top there, but uh, too late. Chogan and Arsene fled the scene of the crime. 12 4, three towers down. To zero, when I think one tower is going to go down. Remember, they got the dragon as well, so that uh, will be spawning soon as Big Fat GG lays out some defensive wards. Gets a vision away, and there is the uh, dragon just respawned. There we go. He's going to port regardless. He's picked up uh, completely the Yumumus now. So his Mercury treads out. Item wise, well, is, uh, he's got no blasting ward. He's going to go death cap shortly. Chuck GG uh, element, sorry, this time on Chogath has uh, himself the heart of God. So the uh, catalyst. And that is the bottom turret gone. I was only on 63 hit points. Oh, Chuck GG's going to pull dead. So, sorry. Uh, Twisty face going to pull dead. Suppressed. That's going to be another kill. Oh, and Chowster. Uh, uh, a Woa might go down here. Yes, he will. A Woa goes down to uh, elements. And really, he dived in. Which is what he wanted to do. He didn't quite get the uh, stun down. He tried to put the put the flag down and queue in with his uh, his diving ability to knock everyone up in the air, but it didn't happen. Well, that's going to be a dragon. <laughs> so two deaths. And COG continues to snowball. And a whale. You can see Amumu taking a peek around. And as we'll try to get it. A couple of shots onto Big Fat GG, not going to happen, they're going to have to back out. They're going to come around the back side of uh, Ezreal if he's not careful. Which I think he may have backed away. The Moo Moo is uh, a port away on tower. So, two dragons now to the CLG. 44 score in uh, kill. So, Big Fat GG, 7-3-2. Remember, he was 2-3-1 in lane, so he's been picking up all the kills. He's gone uh, heavy attack. Apparently, I've not got enough mana to cast my uh, Q. I want to cast my Q. Damn it, it won't let me cast. <laughs> to, uh, Q being the wild card, isn't it? It's the spray. Triple spray. Chance to pop in and out is Clairvoyance to see he needs to back away from the turret, which is exactly what he's going to do. Are we going to see a possible dragon push now? A uh, baron push, sorry. Trying to dance one down. Jarvan in mid. Alistair's going to come around, see if he can get a uh, surprise kicking the butt on Jarvan. Jarvan has continued on. There's Malzahar going to go around the top as well. No. So CLG regroup, reform, and possibly push along top, or will they try and catch some, some roaming gangs through jungle? They just caught a glimpse of one. Oh, they're on blue. They're on blue. Baby's come in. This up to brown. Yes, he will. But uh, Chogath Catches a glimpse of three of them. May, may well be warded up, but they definitely saw Chogath go in there. They're going to back away from blue. They're going to have to back away. Uh, Destiny is up on City Fate, so he's going to be able to ulti in if they need it. A uh, Boomer managed to get in there, get the ulti. This is looking good while Whale managed to take down Hotshot GG very quickly. And Alice is going to look at as well. Kobe's in trouble. Kobe's going to back away. Hotshot and Twisted Fate's ported in, but it's all too late. Alistair goes down. Kobe's just about going to get away. I think Chogath's going to give him those cover he needs. Big Fat GG did ulti in with Destiny, but uh, he's not going to be able to get away. Uh, not going to be able to get any kills. So, finally, Whale coming out on top of a team fight there. Picking up two kills. It was Alistair and Malzahar that went down. And they're immediately going to try and take advantage and go for Baron. As we see them moving straight in there, they've got every right to. They've got two kills, so there's no reason why they shouldn't be going for Baron. They're at the uh, right level, certainly. Uh, with Gragas in there, Gragas high level. Oh, man, Chogas going to come in and try and rupture. Just try and disrupt as much as he can. The Baron is very low. He might be able to get a steal on it, as well as a uh, real low health. Oh, and he's got the steal. He's got the steal. I mean, don't believe it. I think he went in and went feasted on it. I didn't see whether he silenced or feasted. One or the other. It was. Uh, I didn't see which one it was, but he got the steal on them. And COG going to push their advantage. Can they catch any exit kills? Twisted Fate doesn't have that stun cut. He does have flash. A oh, What are you doing? You've just. Oh dear me. Mumu's been caught out of game yet, and he's going to go down. That's going to be an easy kill for Big Fat GG as uh, Hotshot managed to suppress him. He's going to continue on. It's going to be Ezreal. Did he get to catch him? No, he didn't. The, uh, 15 7. Pretty crazy action now. 
So now Baron stolen by CLG. Well, well, they can't seem to catch a break in this game. They managed to get two kills immediately and rightfully went for Baron, really. It was uh, theirs for taking. Obviously, it was rewarded, but they certainly had the <laughs> every right to go for that. They just needed to, I don't know, maybe an ulti from Gragas just to bash him away. Maybe they just didn't expect him to steal it, but I'm pretty sure he feasted it or silenced it. I didn't see which one it is. It sounded like the feast. It sounded like the nom 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 um, sound. Unfortunately, he's not using uh, Gentleman Chogath, which is the best skin in the game, regardless of what hero you like. Not that I'm biased, because I'm a big Chogath fan. <laughs> so, CLG. Put down that clairvoyance, and uh, Blue obviously not there. They just lost the fight over it a moment ago, but very nice steal element. Elements, uh, credit deserved, says Gragas, says Nico Sharp. So, well return to defending the base. Inner turrets still standing. 25 minutes gone. Two dragons and a baron to COG as well as all three outer turrets. So, the, the irony is they didn't really win the lane phase. I'd say, if anything, well won it. The whale picked up two kills. COG didn't get any kills in the lane phase. It wasn't until uh, the mid roaming gang started that managed to uh, just group together, get Gragas. In fact, if anything, it was Gragas diving onto Malzar down the bottom here, just purely unlucky that Nocturne happened to be on Wraiths. So, a little unfortunate for Well so far. They've uh, been caught out a few times where... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, Mumu, what are you doing up there? He's Malzar. So, oh, they, they can see all four. They know he's there. Twisty Face going to port in. That's going to be a dead Mumu. And, wow, with your tank caught out like that, that is terrible. He's going to get ruptured on, and uh, Big Fat GG is going to get the kill. That that was that was poor. That was poor. Why why would you be so far out? Can't see anyone. Dragas is going to go down. He's going to get suppressed. And surely the fear's going to trigger. Nocturne's going to get it. Yes, he will manage to flash in and get the kill. And elements. Uh, 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 Ezreal, sorry, is going to have to get away from there. There's a big stack on tower. Tower's going to go down. That's going to be the first in a turret down now for CLG. 17-7, the uh, score. And uh, hex being picked up by. Twisted Fate. I'll show you the rest of the items in a moment because I've got a feeling this is going to continue pushing. So the same way as Brand. This is so. Remember, this is using the old patch. They're keeping it on the old patch for the whole group stages, I think they are. So to try and keep it fair. Unless there's push, push in uh, mid turret, there's a big stack on bottom turret as well. So they really got to have to split defend here. So you would assume that this mid turret is going to go down as well. I think Whale are going to be out doing anything about it. Remember, Mumu is uh, back up. He's going to have ulti up, so he's going to get in there. We'll get it with ulti. He to catch four, I think he will, but the tower already gone down again, so Mumu just a little bit unlucky. And Java tries to get in ultis onto Nocturne. Nocturne's got so much attack damage now that he can just solo in 1v1. And, uh, and Mumu also went down as well. Janna's going to, as uh, Soraka goes down, Elves, Ezreal also goes down. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. And again, the ulti from Amumu just that fraction of a second too late. The tower went down as soon as the ulti went off. He did it on the first turret down here as well. Managed to lose it just as it went down. Gragas is helpless against it. Gragas has been fed quite a lot now. I think he's going to be in trouble now. He's been caught by uh, Chowster there. Chowster punted him up in the air. The rest of the team quickly dive on it. Base turret now down as well as inhibitor. Surely going to follow. Will they follow it up with the top stack? Will they follow it in it onto base? I think they're going to back away and say, let's not overextend the Pifa. Uh, taken a good amount of damage there, and, well, you can say Baron used a full advantage. <laughs> They're going to uh, get the blue on the way out. Yes, they will. And absolutely nothing else to do about it. Item-wise, well, we can see 10-3-5 now for Twisted Fates. So he's been completely covered. Every fight that's come around, he's been able to get in there last and uh, get the kill. The uh, attack speed and damage that he's got. This does... Uh, been brilliant so far. 2-1-9. The only death really was up on blue here, so really, really they shouldn't have been caught in that situation. They pick up a dragon as well as well on the way out. So all dragons still picked up by CLG. Ezreal's uh, got himself a machine and money along with those triple Doran's blades, so he's kind of hampered because he hasn't really got the farm on. 225 minions for Gragas, so he's really farming heavy. As, uh, as I say, he's not got the farm. He's got quite a lot of farm on, to be fair, Ezreal. However, CLG have just pulled together as a team. Oh no, oh no, Gragas dropped. He's their most fed player. That's that's tragic. 
Strategic Rage are they saying? Nico dropped, let's restart the game. They can only hope. 29 minutes in, 22-7 the score. CLG with a big dominant lead, now taking that inhibitor. And, uh, stealing, really, is, you've got to give credit to Elements getting in and getting that steal on the Baron as uh, continued the snowball. They'd started to snowball before that, so it wasn't really from that. If anything, from the uh, that was from a missed opportunity on Blue where they uh, actually died a few times. Is, uh, bringing around, Rupture goes down. Tries to uh, pop uh, Banshees. I think he did pop, pop uh, the Banshees actually then. Uh, Moon Moon's Banshees, should I say. That's going to Banshees, so he can pop it before he has to the building. Far enough. Nocturne is going to push the mid, so Super Minions on base tower. That's going to pull Whale away, and that's going to give him time to uh, go on to the uh, base tower here. Meanwhile, Twisted Fate down the bottom. You can see him pushing that tower. He's going to surely get that tower down. Yes, he will. Nocturne and Alistair, and they've uh, a complete 2-2-1 two, two, splat split. That's going to be Soraka eaten feasted by elements there. Meanwhile, the uh, inner tower it does go down, and base turret surely going to go down as well. Got to be careful. Alistair and Nocturne continuing to push super minions in the bottom, while Hotshot and elements push the top. As uh, Twisted Fate now on that base turret. Meanwhile, they've got all the cover in the world, so he can completely free farm. Top to it now is in all sorts of trouble as well. Alistair's just being a distraction on the base turret. He's going to get the base turret. Look at the damage he's doing on it. Alistair's got himself a Yamumu and a Sheen. And he's pounding on that turret along with that Phage. Another base turret goes down. Top base turret goes down. Inhibitor going to go down. So top inhibitor's going to follow. This is going to be surely be GG to CLG. As their name suggests, it will be GG. And... Uh, this is this is just dominance from CLG. The second map has been pretty much one-sided. As soon as it came out of that lane phase, as soon as it came roaming jack, CLG has just snowballed like crazy. Now Zahar trying to clear kill. He's been halted by Moomoo. And now Serac is going to go down, feasted once again by Elements. As uh, Amumu is, well, they're going to try and resist Jarvan. Oh, tried to get the kill. Dive for Alistair. Alistair flashes out of it. And now it's going to be uh, Nocturne. Surely going to pick up a kill. No, he will not because he's backed away. And Jarvan does go down to Hotshot. Hotshot with the dot on him there. And that is going to be the base. We'll see a big fight. He's going to try and go for the kill. Ooh, nearly went down. Doesn't matter. Alistair's there. And wow, complete dominance from CLG in this second map. So good game to them.